हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू शेख हैंड विथ लाइफ आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एड शोन यू हाउ वन कैन यूज द जेड टेस्ट फॉर टेस्टिंग ए हाइपोथिस अबाउट पॉपुलेशन मीन्स विथ एन एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व अनदर प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन जेड टेस्ट फॉर टेस्टिंग ए हाइपोथिस अबाउट पॉपुलेशन मीन्स सो लेट सी what is the problem and what parameters are given in this problem so here is the problem a manufacturer considers his production process to be working properly if the mean length of the rods manufactured is 8.5 inches the standard deviation of the rods always runs about 0.26 inches suppose a sample of 64 rods is taken and this gives a mean length of rods equal to 8.6 inches now test at a 5% significance level and conclude whether the process is working properly or not so this was the problem description now note down the parameters given in the problem so here the process is considered as working properly if the mean length of the rods is 8.5 inches and the standard deviation of the rods always been 0.26 inches number of rods in the sample taken are 64 and the mean length of the rods in the sample comes out as 8.6 inches now with these parameters you have to test at an alpha of 5% whether the process should be considered as working properly or not okay to solve this problem first state the null and alternative hypothesis so the null hypothesis can be stated as h not such that population mean mu equal to 8.5 inches it implies the process is working properly and the alternative hypothesis can be stated as h a such that population mean mu is not equal to 8.5 inches and that means the population mean could be less than 8.5 inches or it could be more than 8.5 inches and if the population mean or the mean length of the rods is less than or greater than 8.5 inches then the process is considered as not working properly here the alternative hypothesis is two sided it implies population mean is less than or greater than type and hence the two tail test is required in this case you may watch the videos of two tail test left tail test and right tail test on shake hand with life youtube channel the links are given in the i mark above and in the description below now come to the test statistic required to test the null hypothesis in this case here in this problem the population standard deviation is given as sigma p equal to 0.26 inches sample size which is given by n equal to 64 sample mean given by x bar is 8.6 inches and the desired population mean is 8.5 inches for considering the process is working properly and the critical values at an alpha of 5% for two tail test are plus minus 1.96 here you can choose the z test as test statistic considering the population is normally distributed and the equation of z statistic is z equal to x bar minus mu not 
in numerator divided by sigma p divided by square root of n in the denominator. Now put the values of x bar and mu naught in the numerator and the values of sigma p and n in denominator and calculate z and after processing the z statistic you will get the value of z equal to 3.08 the z value is greater than the critical values of plus minus 1.96 and hence null hypothesis cannot be accepted for the given parameters that means the null hypothesis is rejected and if you want to calculate the p value then find the area corresponding to z equal to 3.08 from the z distribution table which comes out as 0 0.4989 and hence p value will come out as 0 0.5000 minus 0 0.4989 and this will come as 0 0.0011 and multiplying by 2 it comes out as 0 0.0022 which is 0.22% and which is less than 5% the value of alpha or the significance level. Now from the z test the p value is less than alpha. Therefore the null hypothesis which states as mean length of the rods is equal to 8.5 inches is rejected and hence alternatively mean length of the rods is either less than or greater than 8.5 inches. Hence you can conclude that with the given parameter of the problem and using z test the process is not working properly. That's all in this video. If you have any question or suggestions then please do write your feedback in the comment box below. Hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. Switch to Shake Hand With Life YouTube channel for more videos. Hit the subscribe button there and press the bell to receive notifications of my latest videos. Visit shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. See you soon in my next video with a new topic. Bye for now.